We're given f of t equals the quantity t squared minus two t plus six times u sub two of t, and we're asked to find the Laplace transform of f of t. Notice how f of t is a function of t times a unit step function or a heavy side step function. Where a unit step function in the form of u sub c of t equals zero if t is less than c and equals one if t is greater than or equal to c. So because we have u sub two of t, this is equal to zero if t is less than two, and it's equal to one if t is greater than or equal to two. Let's first look at the graph of f of t. Notice how f of t is zero when t is less than two, and f of t is equal to t squared minus two t plus six given by the parabola when t is greater than or equal to two because u sub two of t would be equal to one. To find the Laplace transform of f of t, we'll be using this formula here, where the Laplace transform of f of the quantity t minus c times u sub c of t equals e raised to the power of negative cs times the Laplace transform of f of t. There's a couple of important things to notice about this formula. On the left, the values of c must be the same in order to apply this formula, and on the left we have f of the quantity t minus c, on the right we have f of t. So beginning with the given function, f of t equals the quantity t squared minus two t plus six times u sub two of t, we'll take the Laplace transform of both sides of the equation. So we'll have the Laplace transform of f of t equals the Laplace transform of the quantity t squared minus two t plus six times u sub two of t. Well, the Laplace transform of f of t is equal to big F of s. Now looking at the right side and this formula here, because we have u sub two of t, we know that c must equal two, and that means this function here must be f of the quantity t minus two. But in order to apply this formula though, notice how we need to find f of t. So let's work on determining f of t. If we know f of the quantity t minus two must equal t squared minus two t plus six, we can determine f of t by taking this function and replacing or substituting t plus two for t. Notice t plus two minus two would simplify to t, which means f of t must be equal to the quantity t plus two squared minus two times the quantity t plus two plus six. So now we'll go ahead and expand this and then simplify to find f of t. f of t equals t squared plus four t plus four, and then minus two t minus four plus six, which means f of t is equal to t squared, and then we have four t minus two t, that's plus two t, and then we have four minus four plus six, so we have plus six. Now that we know f of t, if we wanted to, we could also rewrite f of the quantity t minus two in a different form by substituting t minus two for t in our function f of t. If we did that, we'd have the quantity t minus two squared plus two times the quantity t minus two plus six. So let's go ahead and write this as big F of s equals the Laplace transform of Let's write f of the quantity t minus two in this form here. We'd have the quantity t minus two squared plus two times the quantity t minus two plus six, all times u sub two of t. Notice in this form, this fits our formula perfectly where we have f written in the form of f of the quantity t minus two, which means big F of s equals, again if c equals two, this Laplace transform is equal to e raised to the power of negative two s times the Laplace transform of f of t, which we know is equal to t squared plus two t plus six. When we have f of the quantity t minus two written in this form, we can easily see this is f of t by replacing t minus two with t. So big F of s is equal to e raised to the power of negative two s times Let's quickly review our Laplace transform formulas. We'll be using this formula 
as well as this formula. The Laplace transform of t raised to the power of n is equal to n factorial divided by s raised to the power of n plus one, and the Laplace transform of one is equal to one over s. So the Laplace transform of t squared is going to be equal to two factorial two divided by s to the third, and then we'll have plus two times the Laplace transform of t, which would be two divided by s squared, plus the Laplace transform of six, which is six divided by s. And let's go ahead and leave big F of s in this form here. I hope you found this helpful.